Alexei Navalny, welcome to the program. Um, I, I just want to say, you know, listening to that terrible tape on the, I guess, the iPhone of, of you screaming in anguish on that plane is very difficult to hear. And I just, I guess I want to know how you're feeling. Are you fully recovered? What is your state of health right now? Uh, hello, Christian. I'm very happy to be at your show. And I actually, I, I really, really want to start with, uh, with saying thank you very much to CNN for this amazing job with this investigation. This moment uh, yesterday when uh, Clarice tried to burst into the door and confront uh, Alek Tayakin, who was the coordinator of this uh, killing team, uh, was amazing. <laughs> Both actually hilarious, but uh, we should remember this guy is, was a uh, cold blood murderer. It was a, he's a dangerous guy. Um, I'm I'm I feel much better right now, and um, I feel better because uh, yesterday it was this uh, rebellion investigation, and despite we all actually understand how sausage was made still when you uh, when you look at the whole system the whole kremlin and fsb infrastructure of killing it is uh, it is terrifying gosh when i hear you say how the sausage is made um uh, there's a real air of unreality and i want to get into that you're absolutely right it was an incredible report um the investigation the results the you know trying to get through that door and so i just want to ask you you know you want to go back to Russia. You know that this situation hasn't been, you know, there's no criminal investigation, there's no acceptance that obviously they deny, certainly Putin denies, that any such thing happened. Why do you want to go back? And, and I guess, do you think you'll be safe when you go back? Well, well, I don't uh, think that I uh, can have a, such a privilege being safe in Russia, but uh, I have to go back because I don't want these, uh, you know, groups of killer exist in Russia. I don't want Putin uh, be ruling of Russia. I don't want him being president. I don't want him being czar of Russia because, well, he's killing people. He's the reason why our the whole country is degrading. He's the reason why people are so poor. We have 25 million people living below the poverty line, and the whole degradation of system. Uh, fortunately for me, including system of assassination of people, uh, he's the reason of that. And uh, I want to go back and try to change it. So the heart of the report, which was extraordinary, they, they discovered that a number of FSB personnel had been tracking your family for about three years, since about 2017, including... Um, Almost four years. It's, yeah. And it's believed that even your wife, Yulia, was potentially targeted. It, it, you know, the report shows how she felt very unwell when you were both away uh, for a while. So are you absolutely confident that these people... I mean, there's no evidence, or at least we're told, that they can't back up thinking that these people who followed you actually were the ones who poisoned you. What do you think about that? Who do you think did it? Well, I'm sure 100% because I, I followed this investigation uh, within a month. We were part of this investigation. We uh, uh, checked all data and uh, uh, we did part of this job. So uh, all evidence just show us that uh, this was a system uh, and actually the whole department of FSB who was involved in this uh, daily routine of following me, of preparing the action and waiting for the order. And we know how FSB work, and so uh, the operation of a such skill and, F and for a such a long time cannot be, uh, cannot exist without, you know, uh, ruling of the chief of FSB, uh, Mr. Bortnikov, and he would never dare it without direct order of uh, President Putin. So I'm 100% sure that uh, when I'm, uh, it's, it was a Putin uh, who make this order uh, right after I declared that I'm running for office. I'm, uh, I was going for presidency back in the uh, 2016, and then uh, this uh, these team was, crea uh, was created, and they are following me within four years, and they did several attempts of murder, and I'm totally sure that Putin was aware, and uh, he got uh, reports during this, uh, the, during this job. Mm -hmm. 
Well, of course, you know, the reporters have tried to get comment from Putin, from his spokespeople, and they haven't responded yet. But as you know, uh, President Putin and the Kremlin denied any involvement back when it was clear that you had been poisoned and says that if you were poisoned with Novichok, it happened once you left Russian territory. Um, I, I, I know, I know what, you, what you think. But here's the thing, you know, the Wall Street Journal has said in the past that the man Vladimir Putin fears most is Alexei Navalny. And he doesn't talk about you. He doesn't say your name. How much longer do you think that they can keep this up? Because it, you know, even before the report came out yesterday, CNN and Bellingcat, you had the German authorities who immediately um, investigated from the elements that were taken from your hotel to Germany with you in that plane. And they said that it was, you know, highly possible and probable that it was, you know, Kremlin orchestrated, or at least by the intelligence services there. Well, what do you expect from him? His confession, his public confession, like in the movies, like, guys, I did it, I'm very sorry, I would never do it again. Uh, uh, definitely, I'm not uh, the first one, and unfortunately, I will be not the last one who was poisoned or killed because uh, they are practicing it. Uh, Putin consider these uh, these opportunity to murder people as a, his as a sort of a, you know soft power and uh, the the situation where they are keeping uh, silence right now it's uh, kind of speaking very well about what's going on because even Putin's press secretary he canceled his uh, daily briefings because they have nothing to say so far uh, right now they are developing their own story and i think Putin tomorrow or maybe in a couple of days will uh, he will uh, will publicly say something about it also of course trying to not to mention my name but it's a failure. It's his personal failure. That's why it's so painful for him. Uh, and they will continue to deny, despite the all evidence against them. Because so they if, don't have other chances. I wonder if you hope that this really public reporting now, that is, that is you know, trying to connect the dots and has done to an extent, um, will lead to further international reaction. Of course, we know that the EU in August, when you were first poisoned, put sanctions on key members uh, of the FSB. And wonder what you hope that, because the US didn't, and I wonder what you hope a Biden administration will do. Uh, pr President-elect Biden has said, the mode of attack leaves no doubt as to where the responsibility lies, the Russian state. As president, I will do what Donald Trump refuses to do, work with our allies and partners to hold the Putin regime accountable for its crimes. What do you think needs to be done? Well, uh, first of all, I need very clear message from the president of the United States, not, not just me. I think it's not about me. It's, a, it's about using chemical weapon against civilians again, for killing political opponents. And the, honestly, a reaction from Donald Trump was, was very disappointing because the only, th uh, only uh, words he, uh, he said it was, let's talk about this later. And I think it's actually not enough because this later never came. Uh, and uh, I think the president of United States should say something very clear. And his message was very, uh, supposed to be very clear about that it's absolutely impossible and non-affordable for, for the whole world to have uh, someone who's using chemical weapon and developing chem chemical weapon and uh, using it in a such, you know, reckless and very dangerous way, because, well, if you are, uh, if you stand on this way, killing people, it's very difficult to get away because it's, it's a very powerful tool and very seductive tool. And uh, I think this, this, uh, this situation with me will continue to, with the following investigation and we will see that actually quite a lot of people were killed in Russia and maybe abroad in this way. Well, I need to point out, obviously, that Litvinenko was poisoned by polonium, the Skripals, as we know, by Novichok. Novichok, they, they survived. Um, they all accused the, the Kremlin, of which, of course, denies it. But nonetheless, this has happened abroad, and Litvinenko uh, was, in fact, killed.